good morning guys how are you all doing i am out in the garage i just took out the trash and i was like okay um i wanted to make this quick video um the bible tells us that um it is better to go to a house of mourning than a house of feasting because death is every man's destiny um what i want to share is uh, i do not judge anybody i cannot judge you i cannot judge anybody at all everything on my channel is educational i like to educate people and it is called wisdom sharing of wisdom so when i share something or repost something that someone created it is not with the intent of me trying to talk someone down it is the intent the intent behind it is me trying to share wisdom i share wisdom so um what um whenever i repost something um one of the things i if you are wondering why i'm doing something i believe you should maybe check the content because one of the uh because people usually send me a lot of messages asking me you know spiritual related questions and the many times when i don't get to them and i see someone else have a good video that actually explains it i would repost it so when i do share it i did not make the video i did not type the title and i know the recent video that i reposted was um, a young ladies whose video says um stop following this man of god or something like that and i i did get some messages like you know we shouldn't judge people i do not judge people if you watch the video very well if you watch the video very well in the video um, there is some really educational content especially as Christians that you should know and one of them is the lady shared something I don't watch secular music I don't watch secular concerts I don't watch anything secular so because I don't I don't have the materials the resources to give you as proof so these people go and pick out this content around they're willing to share it and i thought it was really good knowledge so one of the things she shared was um one of the uh, secular musician saying that um saying that everybody listening to his music is going to hell with him and he he taught something you know all these um secular musicians everybody they give us warning i've shared it before and this time this is this was so new to me that's why i reposted it the um the sorry i get distracted so the person the musician says to, told everyone that all of you guys are going to hell with me and because you know they've been he said you've been listening to my song a billion times or a million times so because you've done that basically there is no excuse for you to say uh what am i trying to say what i'm trying to say is you can't make an excuse that oh i never practice it but you listen to the song it's playing in your system when you listen to something so much it becomes a part of you the bible tells us that faith comes by hearing and hearing um the word of god so when you're listening to all these secular things you are feeding your spirit and somehow you will start unleashing other things in you that were not in you you could literally open yourself up um 
to demonic entities and they come and dwell in you now there are some people on my channel who are very um how do i say it you guys are very knowledgeable about the things of the spirit and there are many others who are not knowledgeable about the things of the spirit so when i share the video is so that they can see the signs they can learn from other people what is happening and see proof that i wasn't able to give them so with all that being said no lorian does not judge people if there is anybody i've ever called out is the people i see doing demonic things in the name of god when people are trying to like throw spells and do witchcraft practices to to basically steal the children of god's destiny yes you will see me come out here and name them but if it's just educational stuff i want to educate people because i get a lot of questions and i feel like oh yeah this would be a very nice content take some time and watch it and actually pick up some wisdom in it in this world even if you listen to if the spirit of god is really teaching you the spirit of god will always teach you to have wisdom to seek wisdom to hunger for wisdom to search for wisdom wisdom is everything there are some people some very great people under the sun who don't get revelation who don't get dreams who don't get vision but they have wisdom and wisdom has made them so successful that that they're succeeding in everything they're doing and they're impacting causing creating impact all around them why because they have wisdom so when i come and share something ladies and gentlemen i am in no way trying to say i am holier i'm definitely not holy the bible says we all sin daily i sin daily i sin in so many ways i sin in my thinking my talking in so many ways but um we're all asked to have a repentant heart a repentant spirit so i'm not making an excuse but if you take the content as an educational tool an educational content you will learn a lot it's all about i tell you guys about people in my life i'm surrounded by very wise and intelligent smart people why i look at them my father is one of them these people have so much wisdom you scratch your head and wonder if they swallow the whole book of proverbs that's how good they are many times when i was young i would be like my dad would be like i'll be careful with friends and i'll be like daddy why are you like that i would go running around complaining but eventually when i started growing up i realized you know the whole big cross that comes with friendship so when i share something you know it's called take it watch it what do you pick up from it what do you learn from it it sometimes uh i'll share something with you guys um two days ago me and my baby we were watching um is a random video that came up we were on youtube and we we're watching uh one of the most i don't know worst or some jail in the u.s and the name it's in florida something like that so we watched some kids juveniles who were taken to boot camp before they put them in jail guys i have never been to jail and i'm not planning on it i have never seen i don't know much maybe my parents protected me from so much that i literally learned a lot as i was 
in my late 20s in my early 20s i was such a baby too innocent so when i saw this thing i was i was shocked i was literally i shared the video with as many people as i know why did i share it it's not because i know some of them are going to go to 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 jail because of maybe something they do it's because i told myself i told everybody in the room i was like when this is the type of video you share with kids when they're still in middle school high school you show them this type of videos so that they know this is not where i want to go and i i told you know my partner i was like when when i get my kids i'm gonna make sure they watch this video ain't nobody going to to jail we don't like jail so i'm not putting it i'm not watching that i'm not sharing that video to say oh look at them you know they're criminals they killed people they raped they did all this no education what are you getting from this what are you getting from watching this video what wisdom are you getting one thing is my partner i have an issue because i drive long distances for so much that i do and so sometimes you'll find me speeding and my partner is like i always tell you stop speeding oh no i don't go like 80 100 but i go a little bit above speed limit and he say look you never know when they say slow down here slow down because you never know you could just decide to speed one time and you run somebody down and they die there you go to jail for murder not that you're a murderer but look what you did you see so it's all wisdom so we had conversations we had talks it's not because we want to condemn the people that are going in, uh, in jail i mean it is sad and that's why i said you know this is the type of video you show kids who are still in middle school high school so they know not to do these things it is all about educating yourself gaining wisdom the people that succeed let me tell you go right now and find several billionaires millionaires who are successful and doing well and you ask them some life lessons one of them you will see that their friend circle is small the way they think is different why it's called wisdom you don't gain wisdom by sitting on your own and just looking at all happy videos all happy content let me tell you why does the bible have the book of revelation i have my godmother my godmother once called me when i was um younger i think i was like 13 she called me and she was like she's a white lady she said uh hey lauren what are you doing i said i'm reading the bible and she said oh that's amazing that's beautiful what are you reading i said i'm reading the book of revelation and she said oh i don't read that it's it's very scary a woman in her 50s thought the book of revelation was scary and why is that she i know someone made a comment about yeah we talk about joe austin i don't i don't meddle if i see joe austin teaching something that is wrong contrary to the word of god i will bring it up i may not say his name but i'll say okay this is not this just like i did in the uh stand women standard women of god standards uh that video i did not name the person but i went over some of the things she's teaching and i'm teaching people you know this is not things you want to do it is all for your own wisdom let me tell you some people some of you i will just be real with you some of you will not get a dream about who your husband to be is it is wisdom that will 
that will show you that this is the man for you and this is not. But where do you get the wisdom? Wisdom, you get it from knowing what to do and what not to do. Yesterday, my sister um, shared something very important with me. So she's doing a lot of studying right now. And as she was studying, and I was like, man, you're writing a lot. She's been studying the whole month, the whole month, every day. She's on a computer writing and writing, studying, and taking some courses. And I asked her, I was like, you're writing a lot. And she told me, oh, no, I'm not writing everything. I'm just writing the things I'm not supposed to do, the don'ts. And I asked her why. She said, because if I know the don'ts, I'll know... I'll know what not to do. But if I just know the do's, I can end up doing something I'm not supposed to be doing. So if I have the don'ts, I know I am safe. So what is the don'ts? Some of these things, content I bring out, some of it is the don'ts. Some of it is not happy, happy stuff that you want to hear, but it is educational. Pick up the wisdom out of it. Another thing is, yes, sometimes... Right now, I'm in my garage. I could be anywhere. I could be in public and people are around and I won't be talking loud. I might be feeling some way. Don't worry about my continence. What are you getting out of the video? Is it something that build you? Is it something that is beneficial to you? Same thing concerning all these um will say fake ministers of God that they call them. I have watched some, some of them. People say Teddy Jacks is this and that. I have watched him. And you know what I do? I pick up what I feel is beneficial to me and I throw out what I know is not beneficial to me. In this world, nothing out there is perfect. Nothing. So you can't assume that everything is going to be just beautiful at all time you have to filter out things at all time you have to filter out there are people you would meet they talk differently i've met people they don't mean any harm they that's just their personality they will talk to you like they're that as if they're insulting you but that's just their normal them that's how they talk so i have to filter out and take out what I want and leave out what I don't want. So, yeah, I'm not judging and we all shouldn't be judging. The wisest thing you can do is take out the content that is beneficial to you. What are you learning out of this thing? What lessons are you learning? Take it and leave the rest. So I hope you guys have a lovely day. I'm uh, working on the relationship content. If you're interested, just go ahead and send me a message. I will be still working on it because I'm planning on launching it this coming week. So you guys have a lovely day. Bye-bye.